Hi, this is Comet Troy, the RV park builder. I'm here at Harmony Ridge on site, about five minutes southeast of Linden, Tennessee. And in the last video, we installed some smart metering technology using the Emporia View device. So this week, we're going to actually configure that and start playing with it. So let's get right to it. Um, first thing you have to do is start the application, the Emporia uh, Energy app. I'm not going to show downloading that. Everyone knows how to download applications, I hope. So I have the application started here, and I've already got three devices in here. So we're going to uh, go up to the top and click on Manage Devices. And then we're going to add a new device. It will ask us if we want to do a live chat. So Emporia Technical Support will get online. I've never had to use this myself, so I'm not really sure how it works, but your mileage may vary. And then you choose the product. So um, we're installing an Energy Emporia View. So select that. It's Gen 2. You can go through a guided installation or you can skip and go right to the setup. So we've already installed the product in the previous installation so I'm, I'm not sure that we need to go through the guided setup so we're going to go right to uh, directly to setup now one of the things you want to do is you want to make sure your bluetooth is turned on because the first thing that that it's going to do is connect to the smart device over bluetooth and then it will use that to configure the wi-fi and then as you can see here it found two panels over over bluetooth that I just installed, so I'm gonna click one to add. So in order to use Bluetooth, you have to be you know, within 10 to 20 feet of the device. So this is the only time you really have to be next to the device, and then it's gonna set up Wi-Fi. Once it transitions over to Wi-Fi, then you can remotely monitor this from anywhere in the world. So the first thing, so the first thing it will do to set up the Wi-Fi is it will scan to see what Wi-Fi devices are available. We're gonna pick our private um, Harmony Ridge operations Wi-Fi network. We have a special dedicated network just for these type of devices. So we're gonna, we're gonna put it on there. Now, one thing to mention is these Emporia devices do not do uh, 5G Wi-Fi. They only do the, the uh, 2.4 gigahertz. So it's a little bit of an older technology, but you know, you're not looking at watching videos over these. So the older 2.4 technology will work just fine. You get better range with that anyway. So as probably recommended, even if it was, even if 5G was available. And then once you, once you select your Wi-Fi device, then it's gonna ask you for the Wi-Fi password. So we're gonna put our Wi-Fi password in there. I'm gonna blank it out so I don't accidentally share that to everyone else on the, on the video here. And then what will happen is the device will switch from Bluetooth to Wi-Fi and it will attempt to connect to your Wi-Fi network. And then once it gets established to the Wi-Fi network and on the internet, it will actually, it will actually connect up with the Emporia cloud and start uploading its monitoring data, data to the cloud and registering the device and get all, it gets all that set up. You know, at this point, you don't need the Bluetooth anymore. You could, you know, you could technically um, you know, walk away, go in your house or whatever and finish the rest of the setup. So right now we're on Wi-Fi. After it does the initial load, it will give you three options. Now these devices can also be used with uh, solar setups and generator setups, neither of which we have here. So we're gonna skip the first option. Um, the second option uh, basically says, I don't have solar or I don't have a generator. In other words, skipping the solar and generator options. And then the third option would be if you come in here at a later date and want to reconfigure the Wi-Fi, you can you can do that at, um, you know, well, you would have already done that in the previous step. So if you're just configuring your Wi-Fi, then that's pretty much the end of, you know, end of what you need to do here. Uh, the next thing it's going to do here is it's going to actually check the installation. So it's, you already have clamps in the box. It's gonna see if it can actually read any energy, any current from those. And if uh, it can't read any energy, it's gonna give you a warning and say, hey, something's wrong here. I don't sense any electricity. 
So in my case, I don't have anything going through these distribution panels just yet. So it's going to give me a warning thinking that maybe I installed something wrong. So I did double and triple check my clamps to make sure they were facing the right way. So I'm just going to say I won't fix, continue the setup anyway. And then it comes to a, you know, to another screen where I get to set up my time zone and name the device. Now I use a naming standard here where I use a, you know, PP for power panel. And then my first panel is zero one. And it's not really a power panel. It's actually a meter base or a meter power panel. So I have, I have two, two main services here, um, one and two. So, and then each service has two 200 amp, um, distribution panels on it. So I use D01 and D02 for that. So PP01 dash D01, D02, and then PP02, D01, D02 is how I name my devices, but you can really name yours, whatever you want. Next, it's going to check and update the firmware. I've installed a bunch of these already and every time it updates the firmware, it takes about five to 10 minutes to actually do that. So um, don't worry if it's not if it's not coming up very fast. It's just it just takes some it just takes some time, and then you get uh, and then then you're all done. That's all all is to it, and you'll get a, a kind of a funny screen that says, "Okay, show me some power." So you'll see that I have four devices here, and it was you know take me to the power screen, which is kind of cool. Uh, the first screen that it will take you to is um, like a summary screen, I like to call it, where I have four Emporia View units already deployed here. So you'll see all of them, all four of those listed on a line by itself or a row by itself, showing the total power that that um, circuit is currently consuming. So that's being read off of the uh, the two main lugs that got installed into the panel. So that that's kind of cool. Now the power being displayed is being displayed in kilowatt hours. So you'll probably get like a 0 0.002 or 0 0.01, whatever. So if you just move that decimal point over three decimal places, then you'll get that in watts. So, you know, you might be using 0 0.03 would be, you know, 30 watts, you know, 0 0.3 would be 300 watts, and then three would be, you know, 3000 watts. So you, it might be a little confusing looking at that. Now you can click the drop down arrow to the right of each of these panels to show all the circuits that are in that panel. So what's really cool about these devices is they have different levels of granularity. You can look at your power by the second, by the minute, uh, by the 15 minute increments, by the hour, by the week, by the month, and finally the year. And the year seems to go back three years. So you'll be able to, you know, go back quite a ways with, you know, history on this, which I think is really, really neat. Now, when you look at, you know, each of these time periods, it's actually an accumulation of the power that's accumulated for the time period. So if you're looking at, you know, the seconds, it's pretty much, you know, on demand, that's what you're using right then and there. You know, if you're looking at um, the hour view, it's showing you how much power has been used in the last hour, you know, so once it becomes nine o'clock, then, you know, the hour, well, but yeah, once it becomes nine o'clock, that nine o'clock hour will start at zero and start accumulating till up to 10. So you'll, you'll get, you know, each hour a bar, same thing with the week, you know, the month, you know, once January starts, you know, you'll get, you know, a new bar graph for, for January. Now, one thing that's kind of interesting is you, you can pick the day of the month of your billing. So in our case, our billing is on the 20th of the month. So you can actually pick the 20th. So a month in here isn't actually a calendar month. It's a, it's, um, it's from that billing date from, from the 19th to the 20th end of the next month, or maybe it's the 20th to the 21st. I'm not sure. Or 20th to the 19th, whatever you get the point. But that's one of the, the neat kind of things, kind of the little things that I noticed about these devices is, is a month isn't necessarily a calendar month. Now, if you look at the, the graph view, it will start on seconds and you'll see that this is an on-demand kind of real time, what we're using currently. And we're using 2,305 watts in this screen. So you can see that kind of, uh, you know, going, you know, scrolling over to the left. 
Next, we're gonna install our second device. I'm not gonna bore you with all the details of that, but I'm just going to um, show the video, but speed it up tremendously. So it will take 10 or 20 seconds to add the second device. It might be kind of fun to watch, you know, the Roadrunner or Wildy Coyote. Now in a future video, we're going to actually talk about uh, use cases of how we can actually use these devices in an RV park. You know, for example, you know, how do we actually, you know, use these to build a, um, an RV gas that comes in, you know, between, you know, between the 15th and the 14th of the next month and we need to build them for a month of power. You know, how do I do troubleshooting with my park infrastructure to see what's consuming the most amount of power? Um, how can I do some reconciliation against my bills, against, you know, what I get from the utility company? And a bunch of other use cases I've thought of. If you can think of any other ones, just let me know in the comments and I'll include those. So, like, subscribe, drop me a comment and ring the bell. And I will see you in the next video.